last week we discuss um, basic elements. This is the first one, resistor. Resistor is a circuit element or device which can seize, resist current flowing. We can uh, use uh, either symbol, this one or that one to stand for resistor. Now to describe the behavior of a resistor, we use a resistance. Resistance is a circuit parameter which describes the capacity of a resistor, how to resist current flow. For resistance, we use ohm as a unit. Uh, this uh, name is after German name, 1789 to 1854. Again, it's uh, 200 years ago. Some uh, typical materials like uh, copper, like uh, aluminum are uh, typically low resistance materials. They are used as a uh, wear. Some other materials, like a paper, like a plastics. They are typically high resistance materials. We use this type of a material as insulation material. You must have learned this basic principle, how to work out resistance. For a piece of conductive material with a uniform Cross section. You can see here this uh, cross section there, cross section there is the same. We can calculate resistance using this equation. Here R is resistance, rho is a resistivity, L is a length there, A is a area. A length unit is a meter, an area of a cross section is a square meter. Here, I give you um, um, a common resistor values. Perhaps we can leave those to um, um, synchronize the session. Uh, uh, how to measure voltage across a resistor? If you have a power supply, this is a voltage power supply. Uh, let's make clear this is a voltage. You have a resistor. Now, how can we measure this uh, voltage? To measure this voltage, we should use uh, a DMM, that is a digital multimeter in parallel with this uh, resistor. Okay, that is the first uh, bullet point parallel to measure. An ideal voltage meter has infinite input impedance. And that is uh, here, if you look uh, to this end, this input impedance here is very large. So that if you put this uh, multimeter uh, across there in parallel with this uh, resistor, um, this multimeter wouldn't affect measurement. If this input impedance is not infinite, uh, you have a certain uh, input impedance, uh, this uh, impedance would effectively in parallel with this uh, resistor. As uh, a result, the measurement would be smaller than this because you have this uh, resistor there. But that, that is in general case, uh, but for this uh, specific case, if this uh, voltage source is ideal voltage source, it doesn't really matter how big a resistor is there. Uh, still, you can measure this uh, voltage. Uh, it's the same as this voltage. So later on, we will learn Kirchhoff voltage law. Now, how to measure current across a resistor? 
Um, that is the same uh, circuit as before. You have a voltage power supply, have a, a resistor um, across this uh, power supply. Now you would have a current going this way. Uh, to measure this uh, current, you need uh, to uh, break, make a break there. You need uh, to have your meter in series with this uh, resistor. Ideally, this uh, DV, DMM, in this case, has zero input impedance. If you have any impedance, this impedance will effectively in series with uh, the resistor being measured. In that case, if you have a certain, have any input impedance there, this impedance would be in series, would be in series with uh, the resistor you are measuring. In that case, your measurements wouldn't be accurate. In that case, if not exactly zero, effectively you have uh, additional um, input impedance in series with R, make the reading actually is uh, small. I make uh, uh, make uh, this uh, color is uh, right. That means uh, dangerous. You should have uh, remember this. It is uh, very easy to damage a meter when you measure current. Uh, last week, we uh, talked about um, uh, laws. Uh, in this uh, part, we discuss uh, three laws, Ohm's law, Kirchhoff current law, Kirchhoff voltage law. So this is the first one, Ohm law. In 19th century, Ohm found a very simple relationship between voltage across resistor. Here, this is a voltage across uh, resistor. I don't like this. I prefer use a plus and minus and the current through it. I have a current there. Uh, Ohm law says this voltage equals I times R, or is R equals V divided by I. This uh, simple relationship is called Ohm law. Ohm law is very simple, but very, very useful. Now that is um, about the resistor. Uh, this page is about uh, conductance. Basically, conductance is the inverse of uh, resistance. Um, I would prefer leave this to synchronize the session. It's not really essential. Uh, example, we leave uh, to synchronize the session. Now let's uh, consider the power consumed by resistor. We have uh, already learned, uh, if you look back, your know, page 14, P equals V times I. That is uh, fundamental. That means the power equal voltage times current. According to Ohm law, V equals IR. That is what we, uh, we learned uh, here. Uh, v equals I times R, that is uh, Ohm law. Then P equals V I, that is uh, this. Uh, now, because of V equals I R, uh, we can use I R to replace V. Well, we have I R times R, we equals I square it means for a given current and the resistance, you have a current, I have a resistance. Now we can work out what is the power consumed by resistor. That is uh, this. We can work out P. P now equals I square R. Now similarly, because this uh, Ohm law, we can change uh, different shape. Here is a V equals I R. If we move R to this um, side, so I equals V divided by R. So that is the equation there. 
then we know p equals v i. Now we use uh, this, replace this. Uh, we use a v over r, replace i. So now we have v times v divided by r. Now we have a v squared divided by r. So this is uh, another way to work out power according to uh, voltage and uh, resistance. It means if for given voltage and the resistance, we can also calculate the power consumed by resistor. Now you can work out the power in different ways, either by current or by voltage, but the results must be exactly the same. It doesn't matter how to calculate, the result is the same and always positive. If we look back, here is I square R. By the way, I sometimes can be negative, sometimes can be positive, depends on how you define your direction. You direction to this way or you define to this way. However, it doesn't matter if a positive or negative I is, so you have, because you have a square here, so I square always positive. R is always positive. So these are always positive. Now it's the same for V also depends on your definition. You define which side is positive, which side is negative. Depends on your definition. So V can be positive or can be negative. However, you have a square there. So it's always this is a positive. So it means a resistor always consumes power. So P is always positive. Let's uh, stop here. Yeah, stop here.